What are the symptoms that an underactive thyroid gland causes that we should think about? Well, the reality is the body tends to, to compensate when it's early on. If the thyroid starts getting weak, it's sort of like your car. If you're driving it on level ground and you come to a hill, you can keep that car going the same speed for a pretty good while just by giving it more gas. Well, the gas pedal for the thyroid is up here in the brain. It's the pituitary gland, and it makes a hormone called thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH, and that's the earliest sign of a failing thyroid. So that's the test the doctor always needs to check first because that's like your early warning sign. When it starts going up, it means the, the pituitary is having to work harder and harder and whip that poor little tiring out thyroid to try and get more thyroid out of it. Problem is sooner or later, if that, if that hill's pretty steep and the engine gets weaker, you run out of gas. And then, then you start getting symptoms of not enough thyroid. Everything starts slowing down. You get fluid retention, you get more tired, you can't uh, you can't think as crisply, you tend to gain some weight. And so he causes symptoms, are they usually, they come on real, real fast or are they just oh, slow? very, very sneaky, it just sort of creeps up on you. That's why you have to do the test because it doesn't change from day to day or week to week or month to month. It kind of just insidiously creeps up on you. So that TSH in the pituitary, when it sees the thyroid's not doing much work, it really starts pumping out the TSH, mm -hmm. and then the thyroid hormone on the blood test would be? Well, it might, it's like that car, you know, it might keep going the same speed, but it's because you're, you're giving it more and more gas. So is the TSH a good, reliable test? Very reliable. In fact, it's the, it's the canary in the coal mine, so to speak. It's the earliest sign of a thyroid pooping out, and if you catch it nice and early, you can nip it in the butt. You see, the problem is, if you have too much stimulation, not only does it try and stimulate the thyroid to make hormone, it can also stimulate it to grow and become a goiter. And thyroid surgeons are nice people, but you probably don't want to be their best customer. No, no offense to your son, Mark, you know, who's a wonderful thyroid surgeon. 